Today marks a solemn anniversary for Northside Indianapolis Church. One year ago, this was the scene when a bus from Colonial Hills Baptist Church crashed at 465 in Keystone. Three church members and an unborn baby died in that accident. More than two dozen other people were injured. Our Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Brilliant tonight shows us why the church views this tragedy as an opportunity. A Sunday service marking a somber anniversary. But one year after a tragic accident, Colonial Hills Baptist Church members are not holding a traditional memorial service. We've had someone coin the phrase tragedy, tragedy and an opportunity. There is sadness. Youth pastor Chad Phelps, his wife Courtney, their unborn daughter, along with church member Tanya Weindorf, all died in the bus crash on July 27, 2013. But this church is resting on their faith, and they want to set an example. We've tried to embrace the fact that, that this is an opportunity to both grow individually, but to also show others that uh, the God that we love and the God that um, has changed our lives um, is, uh, help, is able to help us go through difficulties like this. Church members say those who died did so doing something they loved church ministry to young people. There's no doubt there are people that are hurting, um, and, but our prayer is that as days go by that that pain will, will subside just a little bit more each day. And today, songs of praise and thanks. We certainly are sobered by the fact that each day is precious and uh, we're a little bit more in tune with how, how we live each day because we know that there is no promise for tomorrow. A church community who has changed hoping what they experience has changed others as well. Jeremy Brilliant, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. Now there was also a push today to raise money for a new church bus. So far, the church has raised $45,000. They still need another 55000